No, it's the old fella back or if you're new here, old Mr. B. Or whatever you want to call me. Uh, this is the chat with myself, Axe, Japan and Wave Potter. Um, interesting, it goes on quite a bit, this one, but um, I don't know how long it is now because I've, I've edited a few things. Um, it's interesting, to say the least. You'll find out a bit more about them two gentlemen. The two awesome players, they are absolutely great. Uh, they really, really are. So I suggest everybody support them. All the information about them will be down below. So check them out. Check them out, check them out, check them out. They are really, really good. Um, anyway. Um, let's just get on with it. rat a tat tat Let's chat. Oh, so and so here. And I've got two awesome guys here today. Wave and Axe. I wasn't going to say, what I, well, I've got something planned to say, but I'm not going to. I'll change my mind. So you can introduce yourselves if you like. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. the speaker now. You, you go first. All right. I'm Axe Japan. How you? I'm Wade Potter. Hello. And I'm the old fart. <laughs> Everyone that's watching this will probably know us already. So hi. True. Uh, I have something I want to show you since you mentioned you're getting a flat Keep it clean. tomorrow. Possibly. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Uh, this just came in the mail today. Ooh, Finally ooh, got, got a of... real guitar. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the standard SC24. But obviously I can't I can't afford the uh, you know, the yeah, custom 24. But, the McCarty's, yeah. <laughs> but I'm really excited about it. It sounds so good. Do you like it? Yeah. Have you played a PRS before? No. No. It's so weird. Like, no. I went in, like, I, I played, like, a really expensive one, like, in the guitar store, like, 4,000, you know, odds. And I just, I couldn't, it just wasn't me. I don't know, for some reason. Really? It just, yeah, it just, uh. Don't know, don't know. It just didn't didn't suit me, but you know, I think it, does, it won't stop me getting a Konami signature when it comes out, though. Yeah, no kidding. Um, what did you start playing on? Um, when you learn guitar. I can show you. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> this is my first. Oh, nice. Fender Telecaster oh. Plus with the humbucker. Oh. That's awesome. Um, I don't have the guitar I started on, but it was a Squire Stratocaster. But cool. Well, I actually, I did actually, I did, have, I did have a Squire Stratocaster uh, before that, but it wasn't really like I didn't really do much with it. But that was my first proper guitar. Nice. Because I was a huge Radiohead fan, and that is like Johnny Greenwood's model. Oh yeah. That's the one he played, except he has one had a maple neck, but. Um, yeah, so I had to have that one as soon as I saw it. I was just like, yes. Cool. I, like, I just wanted to be Johnny Greenwood. That's, um, yeah, that's how I was with Matt Bellamy. It's funny because mm -hmm. people always compare me as in Radiohead. And like, I feel that's like right. the more I get to know them, the less I hear that. <laughs> like, <laughs> comparison, I, I mean, like the high pitch singing I get kind of and the, the vocal quality a little bit, but. Yeah, yeah, I think in the beginning so they, they were quite similar, but then they moved. Yeah, they did start to move away. Oh dear. Yeah. I won't say who I who I liked, because you probably won't know them anyway. I'll go I on. I want to know. <laughs> T-Rex. Yeah, of course we know T-Rex. Yeah, they, they were the biggest thing a after the Beatles. Mm -hmm. I don't know T-Rex. No. <gasps> I don't know anything. You don't know T-Rex? You would have known this. You'll, 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 there will be songs that you will know. I told him. I think I've said this before, but because it, Get It On was called Bang A Gong in America because they couldn't use it as Get It On. Oh, yes, that's right. Tw I 20th, that. 20th century boy. No? 20th century boy. Yeah. Oh. yeah I, guess, I guess I missed that part of history. <laughs> 
first. I've been, I'm was... actually in a, I'm in quite a 60s phase right now. I've been listening oh, to yeah? 60s stuff, yeah. Um, Sweet. Jimi Hendrix a lot right now. Um, nice. Jimi Hendrix is just like, he's just insane. He's like, I know like he's like regarded as one of the best guitarists, but he really is. He's just like, he's so good. His guitar oh, tone is his like guitar. Un unparalleled. Yeah, now listen to some Steve's. <laughs> and uh, who else? The Doors, do you like The Doors? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, both The Doors, Jimi Hendrix, I no, I very surface cool. level knowledge, <laughs> but I want to dive deeper into them. Yeah, yeah. The do Doors only had one hit, didn't they? Right, is in the storm. No, they oh, had others. Light my fire. My favorite is still touch me. Just such a great group. That is a really good song. I think I first heard it in School of Rock. <laughs> Black Black. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's getting them to play it. Uh, I just love that rhythm in there. It's um, like Lawrence is good at the piano. Yes. <laughs> he will be rocking at my show. Yes, yes, classic. Um, I forgot Hold what on. I was going to say. Why is yeah, it? that's but yeah, nice guitar though. That's uh, you picked a good, uh, you picked a good color. I like the Thanks. finish. Yeah, on. I like it a lot. Like, it, a lot of people have said it's kind of like a blend between Gibson and Fender. Mm. It's got like the it's got kind of the same size neck as a Gibson, and. Uh, but it's got the, you know, the tremolo bridge and the humbuck and pickups. So, oh, and it's got the coil tap, so I can switch between humbucker and single coil. Yeah. So it's pretty versatile. Yeah, they're very versatile but, guitars, definitely. Why are you oh. two, young young fellas, living in the past? That's where I should be because I'm old. <laughs> No, it's good to know where like it's good to know where music comes from, you know. Well, yeah. mainly we there for it, so we have to. Well, go. I'll tell you where it mainly <laughs> comes from: out people's mouths and out the instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. I'm gonna. Hey, I'll show you my Telecaster then. It's not your normal Telecaster. I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, neither neither is mine. Yeah, you have like. He, Mr. B has the craziest guitar collection. Yeah, I had no idea he had so many guitars. My wife's telling Tons me five guitars is a lot, and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> There's me telly. Oh, it's not big. Huck, can you say something? So, so oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. Coil, coil tap. Ooh. See I more Duncan pickups. Nice. nice. Were those... Built into it, stock, or yeah. did you put those in? Yeah, this is a, nice. it's a genuine Fender as well. What? It's not a, it's not a fake. It's not a fake. Have you got your pink Les Paul there? Yes, you've seen that. Yes. Oh, you've yes. seen it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. Yeah, because this is me. <sighs> that one down there, I just that that was the uh, the one with the uh, silly tuning on it. Um, then I've got I've got a black one that's a um, studio. Mm -hmm. That one's all right because they've got the all got different necks. Because um, the obviously the HP's got the uh, thing in me bob neck where it changes as you're coming down. Yeah. Um, all the bells and whistles. Yeah, I haven't worked it all out yet. I need to go on a course. I think to what all the dip <laughs> switches do in the back and and all that. It's even seen me line six very actually. Have you seen that one? Yeah. Yeah. Too, too complicated for me. It's not once it's plugged in. <laughs> I, I like my, I I like my guitar is simple. Yeah, me too. I haven't hey. seen a Fender with that trim on the neck before. Oh. That's cool. The, yeah, uh, on the sides of the neck. Oh, yeah. The, the, on the uh, binding? Binding. Yeah. It's not a proper binding, though, is it? It doesn't cover the fret, and the fret ends. No, well, you see, what it, now it depends what you call by proper, proper, proper binding. Oh, yeah, they no, usually go matter. over the frets. Uh, well, yeah, on Gibson's normally, Gibson's, yeah, 
that's usually how you can tell fakes from from real ones. But they, neither they, of my Gibsons have binding. <laughs> no, like well, they they don't um, they don't always they don't always. Uh, no, they used to You're do it on all the cars, and then that was the way you could tell if they were real or not. It was one of the wow. ways. You could tell. Interesting. You're more. I have, of a, I have, a, I have a fake. I have a fake Gibson. Oh yeah. Yeah, check out. Mm. Chip, a Chipson. A Chipson. Yeah. Needs one. Thing is, it's actually awesome. Oh, Zach Wild. The Zach Wild yeah. model, yeah. But like, you know, you, you, if you put that serial number in, like on the Gibson website, it comes up telling you that it's made in the USA. Um, but yeah, it's not real. But it's actually one of the nicest playing guitars I've ever had. Wow, isn't it funny how that works? Shows you what you can get out of plywood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got one. I did get a copy uh, uh, ages ago, and it was the, the body was plywood. Really? Yeah. The body's uh, definitely not plywood on that. No, no. I was with the stain on that. The plywood. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, see, it's interesting. When, see, I mean, see, I've got all these guitars, but I can't play like you guys. <laughs> I just it's just I collected them over the period of time, you know. Awesome. Uh, I did have space. Gibson's. Uh, this is my SD. None of these, like this is I put on it's a vinyl sticker. All the inlays are vinyl sticker. <laughs> the the pickups are from guitarfetish.com. Oh no! Like the whole thing. I well, when I was a teenager, I was like, I need to get a Gibson SG, but obviously I couldn't afford a white one because they're all like $3,500, dollars. So that's cool. That works I, from a distance. Yeah, yeah, all of my, pretty much all my stuff except this new PRS and my Fender Strat is. Um, I I ruined it by customizing it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is now. Oh yeah, the um, that that's it. We see with it's not like Bax is uh, less poor. You can tell it's a custom because it's got the inlay right at the top. All the customs have that. Yeah. That's how you can tell it's a custom. Yeah, nice. Mine's a it's a historic reissue. Uh, so it's uh, it's a '68, but it's a it was reissued in 2002. But it's a custom. Oh, you know, cool. it's, it's from the custom shop. You know, it's uh, the black. Let's call yeah, it. the black one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that thing's beautiful. It's super nice. I like, it's like I've I've used it so much. It's like it's got a lot of dings and stuff. I've kind of relicked it myself, I guess. Um, which you know, it's cool. Yeah, it's kind of one of those. Um, the story behind that guitar was. Uh, have you seen Wayne's World? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know how he keeps like looking in the music store at the Fender, and he's like. Yeah. It will be mine. <laughs> yeah, I was I was like that for me with that one because I kept going in and looking at it. Um, oh, awesome. And then, uh, yeah, just like I ended up getting like an inheritance, a bit of inheritance money, and uh, I just went in and bought it. And it was just like, do you? <laughs> it was like it was really was. It was like ching. <laughs> <was like, laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, it was. Uh, I got to buy like the guitar of my dreams, basically. So it was. Uh, and it's the nicest guitar I've ever played. Still, I still yeah, haven't played a guitar I... nicer than that one. Well, it's, yes, yeah. it's, it's like that HP I've got. Only because of the price, they're selling it at half price. I couldn't, you couldn't turn it down. Mm. The three grand guitar for like one thousand, one and a half grand. Yeah, you, know, you couldn't. I had to do it. That's good. So I did it on the uh, the usual. You know, buy now, pay twelve months later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that all the time. But uh, but yeah, I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't. And then I checked. They, they, they got I forget how many they got. They got about fifteen of them. The next day there was two left. Mm. He went to check. You know, so obviously they went. So otherwise, I'd never have owned one that that of that high end, mm -hmm. if you like. I would never have owned one because that originally had the Robo, if you like, tuners on it. But then the the new CEO took over. CEO took over. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he says, take them off. Yeah. Right? And he, well, he's turned it around, hasn't he? Yeah, was it, was, was, uh, what's his name, Cesar? Well, I don't know. I don't, I names, name's, me and names. 
Yeah, no, he's like Gibson. Of, of they're doing really cool stuff right now. Yeah, cool. they really are. The last I heard of them, they were starting a lawsuit against all the companies that were copying their designs. <laughs> they've been doing that for years. <laughs> I don't think they've ever stopped doing that. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, fair enough. I mean, are you yeah. two? You, you two working both on working on new stuff as well now. You got anything well, in the like, pipeline? Yeah, well, music. Yeah, well, what? what is... Yeah, well, I've, I've got these two. I've got, so I've got the bandmate tribute song, and then the Nemophila one, uh, which I was I was doing some guitar for it today. I uh, just tidying up some stuff and uh, spoke to Cher today as well, and she's um, she's going to be recording like next week. So I should she should be sending me some stuff next week. So. Cool. Uh, right. So yeah, like uh, I know that it's taken a while these songs, but um, yeah, there's nothing you know. Just no, stuff, I, stuff kept coming up. I, I understand. I understand how much work goes into all this. I appreciate what you guys do, and how long it takes. I really, really do. Um, it's just unfortunately a lot of people just think you know they don't understand how much time goes into all this. And and I, I, traveled, do it. I traveled. To, I traveled down to Glasgow and recorded the bass uh, with my friend who was the bass player so like he recorded um really cool bass line for the bandmate one like you know there's some slap bass in there and stuff he did a really good job Sweet. and uh but the the second song uh we were having pro we were having issues with his bass being out of tune because he tuned down because i i made the songs half a step down uh, which like kind of threw his intonation out a bit. So like oh, yeah. for that song, it kind of like the bass was just slightly out of tune. So I'm just going to record the bass myself for that one and just keep him doing the other one because uh, I think it'll just turn out better that way. Because uh, I've got I borrowed I borrowed one of his basses. Um, it's like a cool. Nice. It's like an Epiphone Thunderbird. It's back there. So uh, oh, I've cool. actually got a bass I can use now. Yeah, this bass I've got is five string. It's um. Is that the only? That, that is an Epiphone. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's... It doesn't say it. It's a Toby. Sorry, to, Toby to buy it by Tobias, but it is... Uh, Epiphone took it on. Made in Indonesia. And, of course, we've got this, haven't we? Active pickups. Mm, nice. Oh, boy. Does that make a difference? So, so yeah, I would I would definitely like to have one of uh, Fami's bases, you know the 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 second oh. riot because that's beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody sent me a link for that. Oh, it was you. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm no, I did. Fan. I did it because and, and I mean I didn't know what the name of the song was or anything. No, it's, well that was it was one of her ones. Yeah, but she's just advertising the. the what a flipping player! Oh, she's insane. I know, but I like what she's done because it's balanced better that way without having a big head on it with all the mm -hmm. machine. It's going to balance better to adjust it. Yeah, bases are normally, you know, bases normally just do that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Mine, that doesn't actually, that, that one. Mm. Don't that know one why. definitely does. What Thunderbird does. That explains the ones with no headstock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have the tuner in the body. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wave. Have you got yeah. anything planned? Um, I mean, I'm always working on new stuff. I know. But, <laughs> but uh, I mean, right now I'm in the middle of putting together like a full blooming cover. Like I wanted to do it with, with the be, bass. But well, that'll, that? be, that'll be blooming good then. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's but yeah, if you noticed, you know when I did the interview, I actually put I put an intro in. I threw it together. Yeah. And that is, like I'm that. actually I'm actually playing on that. On the yeah, intro. like I was like I was like, where's this music come from? And then like I realized that it must have been you. And I was like, yeah. it, was it was actually good. It's That's awesome. yes, the, the voices aren't me, by the way. I found them. <laughs> but I just I just thought, no, so I just did it quick. And, and then I got—I was a bit brassed on this. There's something else. I was a bit brassed off myself because I didn't—I didn't—I didn't put in to say that it was uh, Gary's um, artwork. Mm. Oh. Did you like the one—the bit I ended up with? 
yeah. Army. <laughs> Yeah, that but was it had to be quick because I'll put it up a day later than I was going to because at the time and everything, I thought, oh, I'm going to get this done. I'm not going to rush to, you know, to get it done. And because that's that's what happens. And, you know, you just, you just make mistakes and things, don't you? You know, if you, if you start rushing. Well, I make loads anyway. You know, <laughs> how many times have I done it now? Put something up. There's the cover. There's the song. It's something completely different. <laughs> you know, uh, it's because of... It's because of, of, I tend to put so many up at once. Mm-hmm. I've got about That's confusing. seven up there now already. Uh, just wait, waiting for covers because three of them are, are mere. I've done three of those. So I'm going to put three of those out and wind everybody up because I will just brass them off. <laughs> and uh, so I've got all, I've got them. I've got some other, three others. Uh, I've done one. I've got a couple of covers to do, but apart from that. Subtitles. Do you put subtitles in yours? No. Well, I do the auto, right. It works not too bad, obviously, with French, Italian. Russian's not too bad. Um, and Spanish is pretty good. Indonesian's quite funny because I don't know what I say, but they, they keep coming back saying, where's my coffee? Something I say translates to where's my coffee, although I don't say it. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, translations can be just... Well, that was an Axis video today when they said uh, flapping wings and it said fluffy on the screen. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 ah, what was it I said today? Somebody come up and uh, it, it should have said multitasking. It said something else. It was a bit not, not very good. And that, that was on the English translation. <laughs> so I thought I better start pronouncing my words better. But somebody let me know. So I nipped in and changed it. <laughs> I physically changed it because I thought, Oh, no, no, because it was referring to, I called, what it should have said was, you know, you know of course you can multitask, but it's silly old scientist git or whatever said that, because especially women, because this was to do with that Audrey playing the, the bass with the feet and the guitar. Mm-hmm. It's, I can't believe it. It's, it's, it's what she's playing on the bass, <laughs> the runs. And she's and playing along with Rockstar, she was 99 point something percent right with the guitar. I know it was only 70, but it was only missed notes. It wasn't mm-hmm. anything played wrong. I thought, how can you do that? Oh. How can you do it's that? Crazy. It is. It but uh, so, <clears throat> but it, it's great. It's good. You know, it's, but yeah, 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 you two guys are talented. And this is why I need to promote you. You know, this is what I'm here for. Oh, yeah, we should uh, we should do a cover together. I'm actually uh, quite I'm I'm quite glad that I'm past like manners now in uh, in like the unseen world marathon because now now I can get into the fun songs because like now it's like <laughs> now it's like the songs that aren't singles you know so like yeah they they seem really fun. Yeah, well, if you're gonna you know uh, you, you you're all right at writing your own songs. Yeah, I'm always writing. Uh, that's good. That's good. Because I, I don't write songs. Because if I do, they don't. They, they end up being a bit. Well, it's, it's too easy to put uh, certain words in certain places, isn't it? So I'd be a good punk rocker. <laughs> but so it's, yeah. But I mean, I, I think it'd be a good idea because because everybody likes you two, and for you two to get together, you know, that's going to be great. That would be really fun. Especially, I mean, Accent is a, uh, he already covered No God, but dang, I've been trying to learn the guitar on that song, and that one riff where she's yeah. like, the verse? Yeah, did you did know did the riff did I'm did talking did about? Did well, oh, no, I mean, the that riff that leads into the first chorus. Oh, the little, like, lead thing? Yeah. Yeah, that oh, thing's a <laughs> pain in the ass, that thing. So fast too. I like. I, I, I literally had to like because I was watching the because uh, I've got the uh, I've got the Okuji Blu-ray. It has like oh, yeah. the, uh, has the um the the Konami Focus camera on it, and like like the amount of times like I just like was just watched that like just and like on the Blu-ray player on the Xbox like you can slow it down but you can't hear it when you do that like you just have oh. to watch it in slow motion. 
So I'm like trying to like keep like trying to like work out where her fingers are going because it's too fast. And like she's got that effect on it as well. So like when you try and like listen to it slow, it just sounds really weird because it's got an octave effect. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was a pain in the ass, but I think I got it, but it's just, yeah, it's really, it's really tricky. Good. I, I was trying to practice it at like, um, probably like 70 BPM slower than it actually is. And then I went back to the original and I was like, this is going to take forever. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Sometimes when I practice like slower, like, like when, when I'm trying to learn like a Konami solo, uh, uh, I think I did this. Yeah, it was for when I was learning the yeah, the solo for Warning. Oh, and like, and I had it, and I got it, and I was like, I was playing along with the um the metronome like on my phone, and I was like nailing it. And then when like when I went to play along with the track, I realized I was still like like fifteen dB, like fifteen <laughs> like BPM too slow, and I was like, no. <laughs> I know it's it's almost easier to not even try playing it slower. Sometimes you go back to the original and you like it feels like a completely different, you know, motion once you put it up to speed. Mm -hmm. You know, because your technique changes depending how fast you're playing. So. Yeah, I, I think guess. the uh, I think the solos for the next few songs on the album aren't that bad. Um, the the solo there's like a really like intense lead part like right at the start of uh, HGK, uh, which is like you know, I that song starts. That Oh yeah, because you haven't listened to like all the stuff, have you? Yeah, man, I just need to go on a binge and just at least get all of Unseen World under my belt. Yeah, I mean, to, in my opinion, it's the best album. Yeah, well, every single song I've heard so far on that album is just absolutely yeah. mind blowing. All four instruments, like even Miku's guitar, is you know surprisingly impressive i'm not really sure I've, I've i've kind of always thought this but i don't think uh, miku records i don't think she records anything. oh really yeah i don't I, I really think that konami does all the guitar recording and well, like, she just did vocals i was watching the that manners and black hole uh live mm -hmm. you know how they put them both up together and like i was impressed with just her playing on that yeah no, no, she's because, definitely got, she's got so much better. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I, I'm still very new to the whole Japanese music scene, so I don't, you know. Well, I think, um, I, I think the reason, I think, I think there's a, a reason why Unseen World is so good. I think and it's kind of the reason, kind of for that reason, because, because Konami can kind of write two different guitar parts there, because she knows, she knows that Miku can play them live. Yeah. So that's just that's just created like a whole new dynamic really for them. Because it that's wasn't so really cool. like that before. You know, she was the guitar parts like on the other albums, like you could kind of do it with one guitar. But now there's like two properly distinct guitar parts going on. So it's just yeah. it's, it's made things like so much more interesting. Cool. Yeah, it's not just like basic chords anymore. It's actual like interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's showing her how to play like diminished chords and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah. They love those. She loves the diminished chords. Good teacher. Awesome. She is, yeah. Yeah. My, my sensei. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm so glad that that people showed me Bandmade because I was just telling my wife today, like, this Blooming cover, this, again, the hardest thing I've ever tried to do mm. on any instrument. And just pushing myself to get it done, even though it wasn't perfect. It was like, it was a big accomplishment for me. And it's just listening to Bandmade and watching them and really digging into them has made me so much better than I was before. Just challenging myself and pushing myself in ways yeah. I never had before. So. Exactly the, how I started as well, doing it. The, uh, That's awesome. It was like the only... Uh, I was never interested in playing covers. Um, you know, I always just was just writing my own stuff. Um, but then I just decided to learn Thrill because like it was such a cool song and like it was so much fun to play. And I was like, I'm just gonna put this on YouTube. <laughs> and then nice. here we are. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's crazy.
maniacs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's it's good. I mean, you know, like watching what you what you two are doing, it's great. As a as an outsider, shall we say, watch it, you know, as a reactor. Yeah, because you see what what um Wave did to me. He reacted to my reaction. You should react to his reaction of your reaction. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was gobsmacked. I thought, what's he done? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I felt when I saw that you reacted to my video. I was like, what? Well, that's what um, I do. <laughs> you know. I know, but, but it's just my stupid video. You know, I never oh, had anyone well, react that's, to that's, it before. That's, that's it. It's, it's always interesting how you see yourself and then how other people see you. You know, yeah. I mean, I just see myself as an old fart that waffles on, um, you know. And um, but I see you two as like, you know, absolutely fantastic musicians doing, you know, doing these covers and uh, making a flipping first class job of them. You know what I mean? It's great. This is why this is why I want you two to get together and we we'll really promote it, you know. Yeah, that's that's me. That's me. I, I'll go out there mouthing it, you know. Go on, go support them. And uh, but but it's good. To, it's good to see this. It's because I mean, like I said before, this it's a community. YouTube yeah. is a community, and there's so many lovely people out there. You get the odd troll. You don't worry about them, you know. And because uh, uh, who is it? Um, <sighs> I think they did thrill. What's it? D D D something or the because he had he, he come on and had a gripe about trolls. They they were really getting on at him. Um, I'm no good with names. Sorry. I can't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Reaction Channel and they they play music as well. They, they did a cover of uh, Thrill and I, I I did a reaction to that. Mm. Um. Hang on. <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah, you gotta figure this out. I, 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 I am so bad with names. Uh, Dicodic, or uh, how do you pronounce it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the D right, <laughs> but so he had a trouble with trolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, the right, they, they were like emailing him and doing it all the time, and they sent him, um, like a gift. Uh, I don't know what it was. He didn't say, but by by that, they were saying to him, right, you've got that now. You react to what we want you to do. You're not reacting to these enough. Oh. Right. And, and I thought, so that's it. He's just blocking them all. And he said to everybody, don't, if you know who it is, don't go after them. Just leave them. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's the best thing to do. Because, I yeah. mean, when one guy called me, um, he said, I can't understand me, got no teeth, this, that, and the other. Yeah, really had a good old go. And I just went, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And I, I know really... why he'd done it. He was hoping I'd get back at him because he, he was a drummer, right? Hoping that then, then that, yeah, that sends loads of people to his channel. But uh... it, it didn't work. It's the same as on Twitter, like I said to you. I, I've got people starting to follow me, and then that. You know, I follow the bands and they follow me back. And then I've got new people following me. And like I said, you know, a, a new band that I don't know start following me thinking I'm going to react to them. Boy band, sorry, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've fallen into that trap before. And I actually made a whole video about someone who was trolling me. Mm. I can't remember who it was, but they were a, a musician. And he's like talking about how he's got like a hundred albums and he's a professional and I'm an idiot and all this stuff. And I was like, well, if you would have been nice, I would have loved to check out your stuff and actually promote you. And then I made this, he just kept going on and on. And uh, anyway, I made a video and I shouldn't have done it because it was just feeding the troll mm -hmm. and, but you know, perpetuating the whole thing. Lesson. Even though I did it respectfully, but still, I think it's what he wanted. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. I just say thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Boy, you're so Good kind. Idea. And because they never come back, 
No, it's like if you, you say something to them and they don't, like, I've had so many uh, comments like that where, like, they, you know, someone just going off and then, like, I'll just challenge them on it and then, like, you never, they never reply. Well, yeah. They don't, you know, they're just too scared. Yeah, they're going, oh, I'm a professional musician, I'm this, I'm that, and the other. And then if you turn around to me, well, what have you done? Where's your channel? They haven't got one. They're talking, well, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking, but, you know. <laughs> you guys are like, both much wiser than me. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's good. But I mean, you know, this is this is this goes this goes with it, I suppose. You know, you're always going to get them. They've got nothing better to do. Mm. Yeah, I had yeah. Some, I had someone comment on the on the bandmate tribute song saying, like uh, you know, why don't you do like what was it they said? Someone like, why don't you go like write, you know, write your own stuff? <laughs> and I was like I did. That's another thing. It's like when when people say stuff like that, like that's super ironic that they did it on that video. But even when they do that, like you're just, you know, you're doing these reactions or doing these themed videos from another band just to try to ride their coattails. And it's like, well, that's because I made music for 15 years with no one listening to it. And now this is actually working. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you always you always get that, though. I mean, I'll get it where someone, you know, I'll react to somebody. They, of course, they, they give me a load of links. Oh, relax to this, 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 this. Obviously, you've not looked at me channel. And, and it, you know, I've already done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Mm -hmm. And I say, you don't even check. I know. I go, try typing in the search next time. You might find out I've done them. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, yeah. To, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Mm -hmm. But they just come on because of one particular song or one particular band and they want you to, uh, you know, it, it's like, it's like I, get, I get that all the time, though, you know, requests and stuff. I mean, <laughs> Axe gives me some good ones and some not quite so good ones. Um, <laughs> I think I've given you the most that you don't like. Uh, the last one, I loved it. Yeah, I know. I, know. I knew you'd like that. No, one. no, and the one before. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. It was just, just one. Paul, um, no, I'm not going to say names, but he <laughs> gave me a load to do. Death metal and all sorts. Oh, I know, I know. That day I suffered all day. I saw, There's still two I haven't put up. I can't because of what I said. I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, what you said about... Um, a certain guitarist that I reacted to. Um, I'm not going to say his name, but but it's it's not his music. It's him that I, I don't I don't particularly like. Well, oh that yeah, was, yeah yeah yeah. I answered that the second time because mm. of what I said the first. So. I would love to see these uh, archived videos. Yeah, me it's too. Sound pretty entertaining. Uh, I, well, it's uh, you know it's I mean if you if you if if it's somebody's like personality you don't like, but you like the music. Mm -hmm. You know, and he, and it like, and I mean, I just, I just went there. Well, I don't really like him, but I'm doing this, you know, <laughs> because of the music. And I, I says, well, I hope the music's not like him. <laughs> and I thought, no, he yeah. should have zipped it. He's all right. He's an all right guy. He's just, he's just yeah, 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 yeah. Cringy. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. That, that music video is just like, you know, I think, I think the, the music's think? okay. But he, he yeah, overpays. Okay. His singing's got better. Yeah, he's he's had like vocal training and stuff, but like he's yeah. just trying to sound like Chris Cornell and like I know not that's as what good. gets me. So he's always got the got the pose, and I'm thinking, don't he's do like, it. He's like fifty, you know. It's like it's like I know Chris Cornell was like fifty or whatever, but he's, he look he still looked cool and he still looked like he was like you know mid thirties. But Rob Rob. <laughs> Uh, I've mentioned the name now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I wasn't asking. <laughs> well, well, you you know from the other day, I told you the other day, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's right. You did say the name. Because <laughs> I, mean, oh. I mentioned the guitars, and he didn't know the guitars. I mentioned all these things to this young guy, and I'm thinking, where's he been? Because he, I like, what's a Variax guitar? Well, Helix. What's a Helix? What? 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 I, I don't think I, know. I don't think Chapman guitars are that well known in the states, really, are they? They've been they've been there quite a time now. I wouldn't know they. Because they've 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 gone in different states, you know, different round. Mm -hmm. 
you know, different places and that. And uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're like, but you know, people. I've got never, different... I've never been really. Uh, I've never really. They, they haven't really taken me. They've, they've got some like nice Telecaster looking ones, like T style like ones, but um, yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's... I mean, they're they're still made in like uh, you know wherever. Oh. Korea or something, I don't know, Indonesia. Yeah, I've got I've got ones made in Korea, Indonesia, uh, China. Well, it's like my Night Talk, and I've got the episode version, the Shy Talk, because the, the next <laughs> gone on it, and and that's made in that's made in in, in China. Mm-hmm. Bloody thing, yeah. That, I mean, I might use it as a cricket bat. I don't know. Um, I'll find something to to do. Oh, there's, they are. There's there's the sport you two don't play. <laughs> I used to play that. Oh, in Scotland, I didn't think the bother with cricket because it's a bit of a yeah. We used to have to play at the school I went to. We used to play it every summer. Oh right, I mean, I was, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not. I mean, I who beats the game never, where you've like got cricket. a position, silly mid off, long leg? What the hell? You know, what, what's that all about? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, it's cricket. Said. Yeah. We're musicians. We don't play sports. Yeah. Oh no, I've I've always been into sport and stuff as well, but uh, mainly Formula One. But uh, but yeah, I mean it's, it's the whole thing about it. I mean it's, this is this is what like with, with music, like I've been I've been saying about music. I mean it's not how complicated something is. It's getting it's getting the the hook right. Mm-hmm. It can be really simple. Now I was listening to one um, reacted to one the other day. I oh, forgot the name of the band, and and I thought it sounds really simple. Then then you see what the plane. Uh, it's not. It's completely the opposite way round. It sounds simple, but what they are playing is not going to be easy. But they're mm. bloody fantastic. Yep. It's like it's like watching you two guys. This is why I want to get you two guys together. This is going to be, you know. Well, there's a there's an instrumental on uh, Unseen World. Right. What's without it called? Holding back, without holding back. Oh yes, yes. I yeah. watched that. So we should do that. Yeah. Like you let's, could do the you do could do the drums and bass, and I'll do the guitars. That'd be awesome. I'll I'm play. I can't play, play drums. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell. I'll so, tell you what. I'll see if I can play the drums. Akane is just ah. You know, she's, out of this world. Like, even though I've been playing drums longer than any other instrument. The drums are always the hardest part to learn for well, some reason. I'll put I was really in. impressed with the drums though for uh, for onset. Like I thought, like I think out of all the instruments, the drums were the best. Like on that for onset that you did, I thought I thought oh, the drums were thank awesome. You. Thank you. Yeah, the, that's what I started on. So mm-hmm. that's they're the most in my nature, I guess. You look more. You look the most comfortable behind the kit. I think. Like, cool. Did you see? Yeah, that's probably true. Did you see the one with his pink bass that he's just done? The yeah, I've seen, like, I've seen yeah, a he few was, bass. He was there for the premiere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I was there. It I takes think, me a while to get my like eyes adjusted back to reality. Yeah, at, at the end of it, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> What's that's, that's when there was like take two hundred. And I was like, did that really just happen? Am I actually done now? <laughs> That's why I'm like, too, but I always cut the camera off before I collapse. <laughs> hey, I want to say you should do some outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> I should do. It's usually just me going, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I, yeah. well, I've got our outtakes, outtakes of me, right? And I, <clears throat> I don't know if I got rid of them all now. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll start recording. And like one, well, I forgot to turn the mic on, you know. Then sometimes yeah, you talk I f- through the whole thing, and then you realize the mic's off. Yeah. Well, hey, I did that. I put this one up, right? I hadn't checked it. I hadn't put the video up. You could hear the music, but you couldn't see it. <laughs> and I th- and I thought you silly old T. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> then 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 there's then there's one where I'm I'm I'm, where I'm, I'm silly. I explain. And I just went, you stupid old idiot. Well, I didn't mourn that. They're not from there. They're from bloody Sweden. And then I just 
chopped it off, I finished it. You know, there's things like that. And I'm slagging myself off. Like, and I do swear a lot when I'm not on air. And oh, what is some of the things I come out with? Turn a second channel just for outtakes. And I just thought, shall I join? Shall I join them all up and put them up? <laughs> I think I think that would but, be fun. but then but then what's gonna happen is people's gonna see another side of me. <laughs> yeah, You'd probably get more honesty. popular. Yeah. Oh well if you swear a lot, yeah. Yeah. And jump out the chair and run around the room. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I don't know why they do that. I don't oh, know. Those, why. those those guys made me cringe so bad. Oh I've just had, oh I've just had one block oh. by the way. Right now, this is the first time I ever reacted to a rapper. Right, and it's all right. I'm just looking because I can't remember who it was. Um, <laughs> Twenty one pilots. Oh yeah, I thought you'd know them. I've never heard of them. They're, yeah, they were actually one of my favorite bands for a while. Well, <laughs> well, I'm not into rap, but but I could see what he was trying to do with the music. And the way he's jumping around, you know, it's the only way he can put his feeling into it. I mean, okay, you can't hit the piano keys any harder than what he was doing. And, and then he jumps on the piano, and it's the only way he can show his emotion. Must be holding on to you. What's with the, the hood? Song? No, it wasn't. It was car radio. Obviously, somebody oh. picked car radio, and he wasn't very happy about it. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but, I mean... Um, Oh, so it got it's got blocked anyway. Thought it would. Yeah. Kind of funny, funny feeling. Any any um, like if you get like a uh, UK bands or whatever, all of them get blocked, and it doesn't help them. And then everyone wonders why we're all watching Japanese bands. Mm -hmm. Although well, it's because like they're better. Because you know, <laughs> I got uh, you know, the, 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 the drummer. You know the, the drummer Kai K I I. She got blocked, and you know I told you I disputed it. Mm -hmm. I said to him, "Yeah, because that's ridiculous." Well, I said, "It come out in 1997." Then they, they put it up on YouTube the song, and then she's and I, I says, "Look, she's an eight year old girl. I'm trying to promote her." Blah blah blah. I says, "I am not breaking any copyright rules. I'm not making any money. There's there's like you know bits to say from there and all the rest of it." Two days later, it, it come down. Mm. I got it come back. It's because it's, it's bees. You know, bees so like they've only literally just put their stuff on Spotify. Like that's how like restricted mm -hmm. their music was. So like, yeah, like it's just certain certain artists are just yeah. like no go basically. Yeah. Oh, well, I wonder if that happened when she uploaded her cover too. Like if her video got blocked at first. It must have. It must. Have. Because, uh, no. I mean, I, yeah, I have also found something else out. I've put things up here that got blocked in certain countries. And if you put them, somebody's put them up in America, they haven't. It, I think it also depends on what country you're in. That's, yeah, um, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So yeah. unnecessarily complicated. I know. Sorry, because I, I did that when I, when I got my uh, baby metal guitar. Like when I uh, unboxed it, like I put, a fuck, I put like, I didn't need to, but I put like a baby metal song so quiet in the background. And then, like, oh. it's like, yeah, your 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 video is blocked, like worldwide. <laughs> I'm just like, so I I I uploaded it again. But then for some the reason, song? yeah. But then it, for some reason, uh, it got unblocked. So now there's two versions. <laughs> there's two videos on, uh, you know, the same video. Up, wow. <laughs> it's like unboxing <laughs> one, <laughs> unboxing two, but the, the same video. Yeah, because you know, well, you'll 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 know skillet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did did a reaction to them. I don't know, I do actually like them. Oh yeah, blocked everywhere apart from America. I think is the only place it could see it. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, wow. well, I thought that's really good. That's where they come from, and so the rest of the world don't want to know. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Makes well, sense. Right? I still so put like, it. On. Why do why do labels do that to themselves? Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's so much promotion on YouTube. It's the most powerful algorithm in the world. Uh, for I am, stuff. I'm going to try and interview a record company. Right? That'd be good. I've got one in mind. Uh, I've got to talk to Vincey about it. It's their record company. But they're more like a distribution for them than, mm. 
than a yeah. record company. So I'm going to ask them if they can get me to, you know, you know, to, to let's, because then you see like Atwood are after, well, they've been offered contracts, if you like, from uh, record companies, but turned down because they want to take over. Mm-hmm. You know, we, you do it our way. So, and then I could introduce them to them, you see. And then let's just, then that, if, if this can work and it snowballs, let's the big boys go out the way. Go on, bye bye, Sony. Um, <laughs> sorry, but I'm not, I'm not a fan of Sony. No, oh, I understand that. <laughs> I can say a few, I can't, I can't. I, I'd have to, uh, off, off when we're not recorded, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but bands like uh, Mary's Blood would be like, so much bigger if it wasn't for like how restricting their labels are with yeah content, yeah yeah you know? yeah Mary's blood are like so you know you know nothing's really allowed outside of japan you know it's crazy i don't really understand why yeah you know i i, 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 had, to, I had to dispute a bit of, i had to dispute of mary's blood cover and it just put me off doing another one you know yeah it does it sours your your uh I guess your taste for that. Yeah. When you put so much work into like doing a video and then all of a sudden, like, you know, no one can see it and you're just like, oh. Yeah. You know, I started, I started uh, like just uploading my raw videos before I do any editing just to see if, mm. just like yeah. unlisted just to see what YouTube decided. I did that with um when I do my top fives when I because I'm using clips, you know. I'll oh just upload, yeah. I'll like I'll put all the clips together and then just upload them. Ah. And then see if it gets see flagged. It I'm glad nice. you mentioned your top five. What on earth's going on? What's going what is on? it four thousand views <laughs> yeah. on the the ladies and about six hundred for the men? Yeah, well, I knew it was going to do that. Well, that's crazy. Like, that's kind of why I wanted to do them back to back because I kind of wanted to see what the numbers would be like. Because it's like four, it's literally like four thousand. It was after a week, it was four thousand for the women, and after a week, it was four hundred for the men. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like well, you see, you know, like I was saying about insane. as well about I don't do Aldius anymore because the record company. Well, this one had put it up, I'd added up like two months or probably longer than that. It was from two thousand seventeen. Then they decided to give me a copyright strike. I emailed two different branches of the department. Never even got a reply. And that's why I said, sorry, Aldius, and took them all down. Mm. Because if they want to be like that, I can't risk putting anything else up because I don't want any more copyright strike. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was it three strikes and you're out? Right? You're out, yeah. 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 I've only ever had one. Um, three, but at different times. Yeah. I still, yeah. Get, I still get um, copyright disputes from bandmate from uh, baby metals label for like because i used to do live streams and i would like learn baby metal songs on them so oh. i'd like sit down and like every once in a while I'll, like i'll get like an email for like saying like copyright dispute for like this live stream that you did two years ago like have, oh my gosh <laughs> have you seen where you can dispute people that's like done s- stuff that you've done i've got a whole list of people that have obviously done a reaction to what I've reacted to, but because I've reacted to it, they're now thinking I, I don't own it. And and it's like I can I can I can block them. And I'm thinking, why am I gonna block them when they're promoting the band like I am? Yeah. You, well, you can block you can block someone that reacted to a band that you did. Yeah. Really? YouTube's whole uh, copyright system is broken because people can like when there's a review after you appeal a uh, copyright, it's the people who make the claim that review it. So it's it's not an actual third party with no bias. It's if they want to block your video, they can, even if it's something like I got just this random video of me playing drums. Absolutely no way there's any copyrighted material in it. YouTube claims it for some random song of the like it's a drumming song, but it's like absolutely impossible that my my just random playing could match that track. Yeah, anyway, that's they crazy. claimed it, and I appealed it right away. But then the ball's in their court. Like they have the power to 
you know, deny my appeal. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it should be something that's a lot less biased, you know, but yeah, for weird sure. how it works. Ooh. I don't know. It, it's, it's the whole thing's a bit crazy at times. But, you know, the thing is with it all, you, I just get on with it now. And uh, I, I've had to button it. I've had to be careful. I can't call anybody scruffy anymore, as we know. Um, <laughs> Wave, was, um, was Bandmate the first Japanese band you'd listen to? Uh, oh. Band? Well, no, not the first I ever listened to. Like way back in the day, I had really loved listening to Poly Six. I don't know if you've ever listened to them, but um, I don't reckon I don't know them. Poly Six. Yeah, but uh, I kind of I got into Bandmade because I had done this uh, reacting to Kid Drummer's video. Mm. Yoyoka was in it, and then her fan base found that video somehow told me to watch a bunch of more stuff by her than I was doing Yayoka reactions. And then people told me to check out Bandmade. So just kind of all, you know. So you're not, you're, you haven't, you're, not, you're not super far down the Japanese music rabbit hole yet. No, I literally just stumbled into it by <laughs> chance because people tell me to look at it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm very much still just starting out. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's it's it's, uh, it's a deep hole because uh, I'm still discovering new stuff, you know. And I I started doing it in 2006, so it's uh, 2006. That's when, yeah, wow. that's when I that's when I got into like the whole Japanese music scene. Oh, uh, well, I have a confession that I've, I've actually seen quite a lot of Japanese bands when I've gone to gigs as support bands. Mm. I thought how good they were, but never pursued it. Mm. That's that's interesting. Yeah, you know. Never pursued it, and, and which was which was silly, really, because they're all fantastic bands. And when they're finished, they'll be in the foyer or wherever you can go and talk to them, mm-hmm. you know. And they're quite happy to mingle, have pictures, talk, you know. Then the main band, you, you can't even get near them, can you? Yeah. But then when you find out that this is how the Japanese are anyway, they are very approachable, mm-hmm. and um, and it, to me, to me, you know. But here's the thing. I had to, I've been listening to uh, some uh, English singing band, shall we say. I had to readjust my ears. I've got so used to listening to Japanese bands <laughs> yeah. that it, 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 was, it was like, whoa, I can understand. Yeah, I can understand. This. It's really strange. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But, I uh, love that. Like you mentioned about them being approachable, though. I think that that whole mindset just goes into – the bands, just that humility and willingness, well, mutual respect, humility and willingness to work for the better, the better of the song and the music instead of egos getting in the way. Mm-hmm. It seems like that has a lot to do with just their ability to grow and keep getting better because they don't like get super self-inflated and think they're amazing and stop trying to improve, you know? Oh. Funny thing tonight, because you know we're going off with you, pair. Then Rum Kicks came on Instagram Live, <laughs> right? Uh, I think they were worse for wear for alcohol. <laughs> really? <laughs> pair of them. Were, yeah. And they said they're a bit drunk. So I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm typing and they're, they're replying to me because they know me, because we are going to do an, an interview at some point, obviously when they're sober. Um, but, <laughs> but it was quite funny. It was quite funny because one of them got a huge bruise on her leg about this big. Oh my god! Apparently, she tripped over the cap. Um, <laughs> but but oh, they were yeah. they were really they were, they're, they're great and they're really funny. Of course, they turned up. They've like one's got like black across the nose here, and the other one's got lines down that way. They haven't done the hair though. Um, but they are great fun. I don't know if you if you like them or not. Yeah, no, I've watched, well, I've just watched your reactions to them. Like, they they are, really they want to come over to the UK next year. Mm. So they already know I want a free ticket. That, you know, that's why I do the interviews, you say, go, free ticket? Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, just tell, tell them to get in touch with Orion Live because, they, you know, they're, they're the ones that put on all the Japanese gigs over here. Um, yeah. 
And what I think what surprised them as well was they, um, so they come on a bit worse for wear and they've got people from all over the world actually coming on because they couldn't believe it. You know, Japan, Sweden, they're going, what? I thought, yeah, you don't realize just that you are getting, you are starting to get noticed. Mm -hmm. And which is, which is good because it is only the two of them, by the way, Mm -hmm. it is the two of them. The, the drummers they have is like a standing drummer or whatever, you know. Um, I, have, I have actually chatted to them on Zoom because I wanted to see if they could understand me. Because mm-hmm. I said to me, my English is really poor. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but they can. And I, they asked me to send them, I sent them a list of like the questions I'll ask and in sort of what order, as long as I can remember where I've put them. Um, so we'll be all right. So it's going to happen at some point. That's awesome. Yeah, That's awesome. it's it's like anything. It's like it's time. It's trying to get things put together. It's like okay, you if you two get together, that's going to take take time. You know, and it's it going to be so cool if you could interview Fami. If you do ever do that, then can I be part of the call too? <laughs> Fami, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what her English is like, but but the, yeah, like I, I said, she she'll probably be a bit you know a, a bit sort of um. Hmm. You know, but I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I suppose if she's going to interview Ren, she'd be like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't. I don't care. I mean, I, I would love to interview. I mean, um, oh, there's, there's another drummer I've reacted to. She says if I can get a uh, an interpreter, she'll do it, and I can get an interpreter, but. I thought Heidi had fallen out with me because, like, I'd sent her a message like that. I thought, I don't know, I've heard nothing. I've upset her. But but she's got back to me. She's really busy because she's been at the Olympics doing inter- interpreting for the Olympics, you see. Oh, okay. And then what made me laugh, she did a modelling job. She says, well, this was a strange modelling job. So I turned up, I got fed and watered, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I didn't take any pictures. <laughs> no, so I think that was going to be the next day. So she's she's busy because you see that when when you find out what they all do, they all got I think they've all got more than like one job. Yeah. The sort, of, yeah. sort of, you know, workaholics. Um super satin, it, you know, I have the one I interviewed in Aris Mondo. It's also in 362, one year later, and uh copycats. Mm-hmm. That's her full. That's her living. That's how she makes her living, mm-hmm. playing all the bands. But she's a great guitarist. Yeah, they need yeah. To, honestly. Like they should. Uh, hopefully, it will happen one day. But we need some sort of Japanese music festival, like over here. I mean, thing is, like, in they had one for metal bands. Like uh, a couple of years ago, they had like ten bands come play London. You know, Mary's Blood. Uh, and unlucky Morpheus, they were like the two headliners. Mm. Like, oh, I mean, cool. that 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 whole thing was amazing. You know, Bride Year were there. You know, so many bands were there. Uh, we got to meet them all. Not, but not they need they need one. You know, they need one on a bigger scale. Yeah, but not London. Well, it has to. Be they came. Yeah. My uh, the my student in Japan who like I teach guitar to is like she's gonna go see. Because of my top five video for the guitarists, and she saw like Tomozo play for Kakarik Spin, like she's gonna go see them now in October. Um, awesome. So I'm just like, I'm so jealous. Like, you need to get me a t shirt. <laughs> 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 you still have, you haven't reacted, reacted to that live uh, video I sent you of them. Uh, Mr. B. Uh, um, 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 <laughs> sorry. No, you need to because that, that live. All right. Live, Memories, that live mem- mem- memory block. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll send it again. <laughs> yeah. No, did you send it on Twitter? I sent it on Twitter, but you were like, oh, I've already reacted to this. But I was like, no, you've reacted to the music video. You haven't re- reacted to this live version. Oh, right. Right. Okay. It's all right. It's just that, well, as you can gather, I get inundated. I get, I get them. Um, you know, I, think, it, I thought I sent too many. But. No, you know, you don't because you got the two Pauls. You know, one one has got. I've got a three page list. I'm not kidding you. And the three pages are all like, yeah. You know. uh, and it's like, I will get around to it. And some of the, and some of the bands, or some of them, I, I have a quick look. I've decided I have a quick listen at the start, and it's like, mm-hmm. 
No. No. <laughs> um. You got to, I mean, there's so much to do. You got to be precious with your time. You yeah. Know? And if, do what's worth your time. Well, the way I look at it now, if, if the intro gets you straight away, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to watch anymore. I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, it goes on the list. I did that with one. The intro was great. And then the rest of it was, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> A bit like Ted Nugent. He knows mm-hmm. Ted Nugent, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, no, I meant wa- uh, Wave. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All heavy at the start, then hook a plunk, a cook, plunk, a plunk, a plunk afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's just my, like I said, it's just my opinion. We all have our own opinions, and it's what, uh, it's what our ear rolls like and dislike. Yeah. So it gives each of our channels character, you know, like they don't want to see the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some, there's some, there's some, ex, there's some, there's some good bands. I mean, I liked, um, uh, what was it? Shell Aside, I think I got it right. I like what they were doing. I don't know if you saw the reaction to that. Was that no, a new we one? Were, we were yeah, talking that, about that last time we talked, but uh, yeah, because I said, I said to you about them all playing in the mud and how expensive it was, but, and about the lady yeah. at the end covered in mud. And I'm going, yes, you can all stop thinking that. You all want to wash it down. I know, you know. So I saw it. I said, of course, then there was a thing about the lipstick. The lipstick, yes, with Nimophila. I joked. I says, well, look, no ladies, you've got too much lipstick on. You don't need it. You're beautiful without it, sort of thing. And then after that, what happened? <laughs> I was joking. I says, it was a joke. It was a joke. You're not and- allowed to joke on YouTube anymore. Well, I don't care. I, I do. I mean, <laughs> I, I, as as like I like I've said before. I mean, you know, uh, you know. Oh my gosh! Pity, a pity, <laughs> a pity. I wasn't on this before, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was going to done the whole whole time with this. No. This. But but did because when I when I did when I did the chat with with Wave, I'd 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 got the eyebrow brows. And I hadn't realized and he hadn't noticed, and then halfway through going, what's this with the eyebrows? So <laughs> but it's it's just me. I, I like to I like to have a bit of fun. But the the thing is with this one. The lips seem to stay with lips. The eyebrows can go a bit loose, but the, the lips do stay. And I was talking to my neighbour on, on, on Zoom today, and he hadn't realised he'd got pink lips. He'd got his turned on, but I wasn't going to tell him how to turn it off because he doesn't know. <laughs> but I'm like, but it's all good. It's all good stuff. And I mean, what, what you two, uh, you two, it's, it's fantastic. I really, you know. And um, the thing I suggested is, is you two collaborate. That's the only thing I suggested. You can, yeah, because I mean, that would be fun. You can always like, tell me to, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I can I can do things without speaking. Um, but, uh, but, won't get scanned in the YouTube. But um, but yeah, and, and I mean, I just think it's it's an idea. I mean, you know, on 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 me on me uh, me surfing of the interweb, as I call it. Um, you never know what else I'm going to come across. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But say about the singer, I mean, I know you like Cher, but if I can get one for free, would you be interested? Yeah, of course. Of course. I just, you know, I'm I'm I like Cher because like I like her on the stuff that I write and stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. But um, you know, for doing bandmate covers and stuff, you know, anyone could do that, really. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, like of course, of course. Yeah, because I mean but you see now, now people will learn about more about you two, and with um, then me trying to get you two to work together. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely will. If there's wave, honestly, if there's any, uh, if there's a cover you want to do, just let me know. Uh, yeah, because we cool. do one. We'll do one for your channel. And we'll do one for mine, and then we'll. Yeah. Or do you want to put one out for the rest of them? Hmm. Yeah. You know, 
ask the, ask the people out there what they want if they want oh like what song oh yeah and see and see because no, like if, if we do that they'll just say giovanni or something <laughs> well no they forget <laughs> and then we'll just be like oh no <laughs> next next yeah can you do max black, black yeah, do black hole oh my god yeah. <laughs> i'm looking forward to that like five years <laughs> Look, it, I haven't written that because it'd be called Brown Hole. Um, <laughs> sorry. No, I'm actually le- really looking forward to doing Giovanni, even though like it sounds hard as balls, but like it's like what I'm probably my favorite song on the album. Um, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's instrumental, isn't it? No, Giovanni's not. Huh? Do you guys like no. starting? Is it started? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. What about that? Uh, what just reminded me of a premiere. Oh, it's a start already. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Um, anyway, yeah, I should probably hop over to that. But, yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, right, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll work out what song to do, okay? All right, yeah, okay, so good. I'll just I'll just sort of stop the recording and say cheerio to everybody and that. And, um, you know, so. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> well, there you go. Now you know. They're going to collaborate. Um, it's something that I, you know, I, I wanted them to, to do anyway. And uh, we may even get a get a singer as well. We'll see. Uh, but don't expect it in five minutes. All this takes time to do. There's a lot of work has got to go into it and everything else. So... Be patient, everybody. Be patient. It will happen. Anyway, that's as much as I've got to say about it. It was it was great fun. It was great fun. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you, everybody. Thank you for all your comments, your support, and everything else. Thank you so, so, so much. And, of course, please, 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 yeah, don't forget, check out all the information down below. And please, 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 stay safe. And I'll be back. Bye for now.